Hi, welcome to Bar Cart Bookshelf, a video series about books and the drinks they inspire. My name is Elias, and today we're talking about Wicked Problems by Max Gladstone. Wicked Problems is the second book in the Craft Wars series. Last year when we talked about book one, Dead Country, uh, Dead Country, it was the Craft Wars trilogy, but within the last month we have gotten the exciting announcement that there will be a fourth book in this sort of capstone of craft sequence. And I am so excited to see this go from a trilogy to a series because these books are just absolutely wonderful. Some of my very favorite long series titles and one of my absolute favorite fantasy worlds. Uh, the craft sequence is a world of necromantic attorneys where the power of law and the power of the divine are intertwined with stars and dead gods and deathless kings and divine serpents and spiders that crawl between the heavens and all in this wonderful blend of the modern and the antique the truly quotidian and the arcane, eldritch, otherworldly. I really think it is hard to find books that so expertly balance the uncanny and the wholly recognizable. These are books with uh, squid operas. Um, one of my favorite scenes here in Wicked Problems is at an opera inspired by uh, Wagner's Gotterdammerung. Uh, when I was reading it, I just absolutely flipped because it's like, it's there. It's the things that you can see and know and feel and touch and be lived in. And also parasitic squid hive minds controlling the city. You know, it's all the everything. And I just truly love this series so much where Dead Country book one was intensely focused on one of the primary characters, Tara Abernathy, and her journey home and her reckoning with being home. Wicked Problems expands. It is a prism. It takes the events that have all come before and splits them out and brings characters together and really sets the stage for these grand confrontations, this end of the world times, these things that become a hundred years after there were god wars, craft wars. We see how the various stressors on a world system are beginning to show their cracks, and we get to revisit some of our favorite characters from the original run of uh, craft sequence novels. It's one that I think is still going to be accessible if you've only read Dead Country and want to go back and read earlier novels for context. Um, it's been a long time since I've had the time to, to reread those, though with four books in the series uh, overall, I think we're going to have some great time in the next couple of years to do a full series reread here for Bar Cart Bookshelf. And it's just truly some of the best fantasy around gripping, thoughtful, magical, intense, necessary stuff. And so, of course, we have to have a drink for it because I'm here gushing and I can't gush without uh, a glass in hand. So we're going to start um, with today's drink. Today's drink is the Star Apple Fizz inspired by Wicked Problems, and it is a first for us here on Bar Cart Buckshelf because we are actually going to do a full egg white fizz. We're doing the thing. Uh, and so you're going to want to take an egg and crack that on the side of your shaker. And then you'll take the top shell and you'll just sort of, I know you get a little messy, but you take that yolk and you dispose of it, and you dispose of the shell, and you keep your egg white in your shaker tin. And then you go and you find something to uh, wipe your hands off on, because sometimes 
making cocktails is dirty work, but using your hands really is the surest way to ensure that you just get that white in your tin and you can't do the craft without letting your hands get a little dirty. So we have got our egg white in there. We are going to get the remainder of our ingredients, starting with our base spirit. And we're going to want to get an ounce and a half of apple brandy into our cocktail. So with egg white drinks, uh, you're going to have your spirit, you're frequently going to have citrus, and all of those things are going to help to cook the egg white. Uh, it's going to build a structural foam. We're going to get an ounce of fresh lemon juice in there to go with our spirit. And that's really going to help make it ensure that it's safe for human consumption. Um, egg whites can, eggs in general, raw eggs can be carriers of salmonella. Um, it is less common for eggs to be a vector for that than uh, chicken meat, but uh, certainly be aware, be careful. If you choose not to use uh, egg white in your drink, use a bar spoon of whole milk powder as an alternative. Um, but I really have been finding myself uh, enamored of egg white drinks of late. So we have got an ounce and a half of apple brandy, one ounce of lemon juice, one egg white. We're going to get half an ounce of honey syrup, honey rich, supple, sweet, nice balancing ingredient in there. And then we're going to get a couple of dashes of Peychaud bitters. Peychaud bitters are gonna have that anise and particularly this rose hip uh, flavor to them. They're a little bit lighter than other aromatic bitters like Angostura, um, but they're going to bring a really nice brightness and that sort of rosiness. Give three or four dashes, easy to add more, hard to add less, uh, but it's always nice to get that real intensity. We certainly see there is a, a bitter rose that appears uh, quite prominently here in Wicked Problems. And now we're going to do a dry shake. So you'll seal your tin and shake it on up. This is what's going to allow our egg white to foam. We really want, when we're using egg white, to get a nice, sturdy, frothy foam, something that's architectural, structural, uh, in a series that explores sort of structural problems and um, you know, large-scale organizations, I think having that structured foam really does feel apropos. All right, lovely. Give that a tap. And then we're going to want to get some ice in there. Not a ton, uh, maybe just one or two uh, heavy, dense ice cubes in there because we don't want to really dilute this cocktail too much, but we want the ice to be in there as an agitator. It's contributing to that froth, contributing to that foam, making it bigger, bolder, better than before, as we're seeing here with Wicked Problems. And you'll shake that up. Give it a good solid shake. glass there, and good. Oh yes, we have a beautiful foam in here. Hawthorne strainer and conical strainer. Uh, with egg white drinks, with any sort of fizz and foam, you do want to double strain just in case your proteins in there got a little bit larger than you expected. Uh, you don't want any sort of grit or gunk in your cocktail glass. Lovely. All right. And plain seltzer. Unflavored seltzer, soda water. Just pour that in there. Let that rise to the top. And there you have it. This is the star apple fizz. You can see the drink and the egg white foam starting to separate in here. You'll be able to see that a little more clearly in the photos that will be posted to Twitter, Instagram, and Blue Sky. Um, but there you have it, the Star Apple 
fizz inspired by wicked problems. As a bonus, I was lucky enough to receive two advanced copies of Wicked Problems, and so I would like to send one of those to a lucky reader viewer out there. And because Wicked Problems is the second book in the series, I cannot do just book two. So, for the next two weeks, hit that like button, comment down below, and you will be entered to win a copy of both Dead Country, book one in the Craft Wars series, and Wicked Problems, book two. You'll have plenty of time to read them before book three comes out next summer. Make sure that you comment down below by Tuesday, April 23rd to be entered to win. I am so excited to share this with one of you wonderful reader viewers out there. I think you're really going to love this series if you haven't read it already. Um, and so please participate, tell your friends, uh, get involved and enjoy. Um, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. There are always a written version of today's recipe on Twitter, Instagram, and Blue Sky linked below. Got a link to snag the book if you just can't wait in the description below. And until next time, cheers. <laughs>